Hello, welcome to Moneyball Billiards. We've got an eight ball match here for you. Shelby against Keith. They're both skill level fours, so this is an even race to three. This is Shelby's first match as a skill level four. Just moved up. Got a guest commentator in the booth, Cody Holmes. What's up, dude? What's going on? And this should be a good match. Both are good shooters. Yeah, I'm excited to see this one. I did not get to watch it, I don't think. So, or maybe I did. I can't remember. You might see me pop up doing timeouts. <laughs> Both good shooters. Awesome people. And this was, yeah, an exciting week for our team. Showed up and realized Shelby was a four. She... When she first joined APA, she joined one of my teams and has worked her way up from being a eight, a two and eight ball and a one and nine ball. Now she's a four and eight ball and a three and nine ball. And moving up. Yep, just keeps getting better and better. Wow, he hammered that. That was a great break from Keith. Followed through a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Which is good. I was worried about the double kiss there. Huh? Right. <laughs> so much follow through. Yeah. Keith's somewhat newer to APA. I think this is his second session. Uh, but he's played a lot of pool in his day. Yeah, first time I met him, I was at Players. And for some reason, we ended up playing a one-handed match. Both. We oh. were both playing one-handed. And it was a pretty good match. He's pretty good one-handed. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He likes to do those challenges. First time I met him was here at this pool hall. He just had one of the extra tables and was playing and kind of trying to walk around and see if anyone wanted to play him. Yep. Yeah, he's he likes to talk jokingly. He talks yeah. Yeah. pretty confident about yeah. his pool game. Yeah. So I had to go humble him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Keith. <laughs> but he's really good. All right. <clears throat> shot. Shall nice shot. Stripes. Not a ton of options. Looks like maybe the 15, 15 on the side. Yeah, 15 on the side might be coming off the 13. Yeah. Gotta squeeze it past the 8. That's probably what I'm trying. Yeah, I mean, with that 13 there, it makes the pocket a little bigger. As long as you hit it with some speed. And at this stage, you know, in this match, like it's, you're not thinking too much about it. For me, I'd be kind of thinking about where that 13 is going to go if yeah. I do this shot. Yeah. You do yeah. have another ball down the rail there. I think yeah. it's a 10. Yeah. You don't really want to get those tied up, so... Nice and easy. Ooh. Oh, it, it went clean, too. Yeah. She rattled it, but it went yeah. clean. Not sure what the state of that 15 is now. I think it goes. Probably goes from the left side. Yeah. His problem balls are that 5, 3, and the 9. The, yeah. The, it's a 5 and the 7. That's what I said. Yeah. 5 and the 7 and the 9. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, three's not going to be a problem if he makes it. Oh, now I can... Hmm. I can't, Pointing uh, to where he wanted it to stop. I think I would have wanted to stop right where he got it. I probably would try to get the seven in the side pocket right mm -hmm. now if it goes. He looks like he's going down to the six. No, nope. Oh. Really tough. I mean, yeah. at that angle, there's pretty much one route that ball can go to make it and got to be pretty accurate from right here look like if she cuts that nine in and the cute ball's going right at the 15. that's true cuts a nine on the bottom left corner yeah that's a pretty nasty cut for her i don't know if she's yeah i don't know yeah i mean she it is pretty steep yeah it is pretty steep yeah that 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 was a better shot for sure i think so too Oh, 
All right, Kate, what do you got? Not a lot. Not, not a lot at all. There's not, not much here, yeah. I mean, maybe like a reverse bank on the two. If you had this, what would you do here? I'd, yeah, I might try to bank that too. I don't really see like a safe option. That wow. went. Oh my god. I didn't even. Where? How did. Yeah. That was, okay. That was a really good shot. I blinked and kind of missed. So, there's a Pac Man sighting. Pac Man. What a legend. What a legend indeed. Does he have any matches up on the Moneyball Billiards channel? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. We just I just recorded him tonight though, so we'll see Pac Man soon. Yeah. Another skill level four five. He plays like a five most nights. There's Joey. Yeah, we were talking about uh was that was that you? We were talking about how uh Gary figures out the skill levels by just, uh, he's got like three options on a dartboard. You stay the same, you go up or you go down, and he just <laughs> throws a dart at Throws him. a dart. I don't know if he, Gary does that much manual work on yeah. the skill levels at all. Yeah. But yeah. Sometimes it does feel that way. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, it's going to follow. Woo! Okay. I'm curious what you what he wanted to do there with the cue ball. I feel like he was trying to go into the rail. Into the, yeah, he might have pictured it going in the rail and around. Yes, I think so. Because whoa, just a little went. soft shot on that side pocket it would have left him the six or the two. Yeah, better shots on both. So <clears throat> sometimes it's good to like walk around the table, see yeah. see exactly where you want the cue to end up, and then. What's your easiest option when you're running these out? Nice, really good shot. shot. Maybe she can see the 15 from there. Just a little touch. Would little... you hit it really soft to try to leave yourself on the 14? I would. I would play it soft just to make sure it goes in. And, and I like the 13 in front of the pocket there. I'd... Wow. Oh, that's that, nice. That was nice too. That was crafty. <clears throat> 10 ball. Her problem is the is is the. 11 <laughs> the 11 ball yeah. yeah by the six by the six yeah. yeah please refer to the uh <laughs> i was staring at it <laughs> i was staring at the little we've got a picture of a set of pool balls right here so we can discern the color and number I'm like what color is that yeah Hmm. The six ball. She pre she protected the rack there. I mean, yeah. It's, it, yeah. She missed the corner pocket, but, but Look that, at that eight yeah. ball is protected. Yeah. Yes. And she might still be able to get the that fourteen in from the right side. Uh -huh. I'm probably saving that for my last ball then. Well, she got a power draw in the in the repertoire. She does. Just draw this all the way. Pretty good stroke. Yeah, yeah. So you see enough of this 11, hopefully. Is that what he agreed this ball is? The 11? Yes. Okay. Yes. We could just call it the red ball if you'd like. I, if I knew it was red, I would know it's <laughs> Well, there's the 15. The 15's red. <clears throat> right? That, yeah, exactly. That was good. I like that. Now it's in the... Because that was her one ball that she... Yeah, I couldn't really see how oh, it's in the open. I would like for it to stay on that right side of the table just so that she can access the 14. Just so you can access the 14 and have the easier run out. But she, if she would have made that bank, the cue ball was right there for uh -huh. the 14, you know? Yeah. So she was going for it. And I always. Uh, what you going to do here, Keith? I always support you going for it. Yeah. yeah. And matches like this. This is tough right here, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. I might have considered not making that last ball. Yeah, maybe using that last oh, ball. Oh, did he get a breakout on that? No. He was getting close to the breakout, though. He couldn't quite see it as the cue ball went by, but it had to have been close. Well, 
she's she might want to hit the 14 now, but I think she'll probably leave it. Yeah. It's not she's not if she leaves it she's hopefully not planning to run out. If she wants to run out right now, she's got to make it. Yeah. Okay. She's, she got a tough but yeah, makeable she, shot. She's just going for the cut. She's going for the <clears throat> kill right here. I like this I like this uh, pocket speed shot. So I try yeah. to tell my players, you really want this ball to stay in the pocket yeah. if you miss it. Yeah. Protect that pocket. Stay right there. Yeah, it just leaked out a little bit. It leaked out just a little. It looks like he probably has a clear path to the current corner. You could stun this out, maybe just a hair above middle. Middle ball. Uh, oh, looks like you hit a little lower, yeah. some right maybe. I'm reverse panking this into the top side pocket. I'm doing that as well. And then just uh, <clears throat> using a little bit of left. left to miss the scratch and also kind of assist the eight ball backwards. Yep, you want to do a little left on a a reverse bank like this it helps yeah make that angle more realistic also wouldn't hurt to have the cue ball come back bounce off that short rail yeah hit the long rail at the top and then oh, he's going for the right corner there. he's cutting oh yeah makes oh, her ball dang. and makes the eight in the wrong oh, oh. hangs it now this could you know, you, you think this is a duck, but... Yeah, it's easy to scratch here. Very easy to scratch. She has to shoot off the rail. Can't do much with the cue ball. I mean, or just you just got to get under it and just whack it, you know? Oh, and she meant mm, this. Yeah. Super, super common in diamond. Yeah. On these diamond tables, yeah. very deep shelves. Yeah. You think you can hit rail I, first, I, but... I just, I just stop doing it. I just go straight at the ball and just hit low. Yeah. And just. I just try to... I try to shoot. I aim right for where the ball and the rail uh, are meeting, yeah. where they touch okay. each other. I want to hit the rail and the ball at the same exact okay. time. If you hit rail first at all, then you'll miss. But you have to hit them simultaneously. Simultaneously, and that it it affects the route of the cue ball. It's not gonna not gonna follow in if you do that. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, Keith gets the first game. There's Neil. <laughs> He's the uh, poster child for Blue Moon. Poster child for Blue Moon. Yeah. I think he needs a sponsorship. He makes it look so good. You he know does. what I mean? Like every time I see him with that beer with an orange in it, big tall frosty beer, I'm like, man, that looks really good. Maybe I should get a blue. Beer. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just get a Pabst. Let's see what he made here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He made a stripe. Yeah, I see six stripes on the table. Uh -huh. So, and. He <laughs> There's Neil again. And he's kinda kinda screwed here. I don't know if he can get those stripes at the bottom of the table, pass the two or not. I think he's just gonna whack the thirteen into the fifteen. Yeah. Hope for the best. No. Play safe. Now we're looking at Shelby's route she might take with the solids here. And, of course, not an easy run out. Pretty clumped up on the right side of the table. I think I do remember seeing this rack, actually. I do like that she will keep that five in the corner uh -huh. until she absolutely needs to make yeah. it. That's something that, you know, that was a 
it was a duck for her to take right there yeah. her first shot. Yeah. <clears throat> she took the harder shot. She'll keep that five there because she can. Yeah. You want to keep that pocket blocked if they had a bunch of stripes that need that pocket. Yeah, and then it's also a nice little insurance ball. If you get some weird shape, you could kind of try to make that easily. Right. That's a good spot for that. Yeah, he's got a shot on a, on the 11 there. The red yeah, ball. But if he, right. <laughs> I don't know if you notice the pause, <laughs> the uh, 11, but if he makes that 11 again, I mean, she's got all of his balls are yeah. going to be pointing down to that bottom yeah. right corner pocket, and she's got that Locked one lock. Up. Whoa. Got off the nipple there. He's trying to break some balls out, maybe create some space. She secured both pockets now, but... Looks like she might have to make that three. Yeah. Question is, what's she going to do with it? Make them both. Ooh. <laughs> All right. And this is, again, I remember I remember watching this, this shot here. I think she breaks that seven out. Yeah. And I was like, you know, that's not something I don't think I would have thought to do, but I don't. I'm not mad at it. No, it's, yeah, I mean. It's not like it's, it opened up his ball too, right? But she's still, you know, his ball still needs that bottom right corner pocket. Yeah. So. And now she's got a pocket for everything. She's, op she's opening up her balls while keeping that pocket locked up. It's good. Is that 14 12 combo mm -hmm. to the five? Yeah, I think that's the play. Is he kicking at the nine? Well, sometimes they can just take one shot to take a pocket over. Yeah. And turns the tide of the rack. He went for the combo, didn't quite get it. And now he's in worse shape. Oh, yeah, he's all clumped up with the long rail down there and. Not pretty. No. She's looking at either a long one ball or a combo here. Knowing her, she might just get down and knock that four or six combo in, but she's pretty good at those. Going for the one? Going for the cut on the seven. One. That four might get right into that mess, though. Well, she hit it with great good speed. Good shot. Though. Yeah. Kept the four free. Look at that. And it messed his balls up even more. Right. <laughs> Here, add to your clump, buddy. <laughs> nice. Uh, Don't know if she... Looks like she might have a little angle on the six. More than she might have wanted. That, cutting that in the side. She'll wow. be glad she has the five Man. here if she makes it. What nice. a good shot that was. So now you just uh, put a little bit of right spin on this to go <laughs> go past the eight ball. I for... think I remember her taking the six here. But I do like, oh, yeah, I think she was going to take the six. So we we talked about this shot. I don't think it played out how we wanted to but i'm kind of talking to her about taking the five off the long rail out here through yeah, that gap. that's what i'm seeing right here look i can commentate my hand movements this is great yeah so you went the right route she got a little bit too much speed on yeah. it yeah Otherwise, well, really good shot. Yeah. Just, she takes, she puts probably half that speed on it. Yeah, she's she's out. Oh, it's still in a great super spot. super good. Like, yeah, tied up the eight ball, which isn't great, but 
she was able to try to cut that six. It wasn't really a realistic cut, but she did it with the speed that made it bounce off the rail and still makeable on the side. Yeah. Uh, he's got to try to develop this cluster here. Wow, that was really good. Really nice shot. On that last shot, I might have thought to combo those two rail balls along the rail, mm. hit the inside of her six. I don't know if the yeah. six moved. It did move on that shot. Yeah, just a so little. So where it was before, it looked like they could kind of come off the inside of her six and go into the side, mm. while at the same time getting getting them off the rail a little bit. But good save. Yeah, that was really nice. Keep it simple. Do my best to be a unbiased commentator for the sake of this video, but I, and I do love Keith, but um, we want I like Shelby to give to him. <laughs> yeah, I want I want Shelby to win. I'm like, she's on our team. So. Like Keith, you suck. Terrible yeah. safety. No, yeah. I, I like seeing him shoot well. What a oh kick! Oh my god, she's. She could just see those. That was so well. good. Big reason why she's getting good, like so much better, so quick. She can see the cut angle. She can see the kicks. Yeah. <clears throat> now it's just a matter of execution. Looks like she's gonna try and kick at this eight. She marked that pocket. I don't know if the nine's gonna let it get there, but oh, close to making contact. Contact would have been good, especially if it wouldn't affect like. Mm -hmm. Even just touching that eight, making some space between the eight and the nine, yeah. cue ball staying in that along that short rail. For sure. Oh, just went off the point. Yeah. Probably one of my least favorite shots. Yeah, me too. Hitting a ball down the rail when it has to pass across the side pocket on these tables you high probability you're going to catch the corner pretty sure i do a timeout <laughs> can't remember i think i was gonna huh. what she got in mind here i think she hits straight at it kind of hopes for it to drift off over there <clears throat> Okay. I think I think I was thinking about doing a timeout. I wanted to see the tangent line between the 8 and the 9 to see if she might be able to carry him uh -huh. an 8 off of the 9 into one of the corner pockets or uh -huh. carry him a bank. Yeah. Super complicated shot, but I don't think it was realistic, so I didn't do the timeout. I like that she opened it out. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, he had a tough run out there. Went for a shot and had an unfortunate roll. That should be the end of this one. All right, tied ball game. She seems to like her uh, newer cue as well. Yeah, that thing's nice. See a lot of people playing with the Q Tex and yeah, if anybody watching these videos and wants a, a decent Q for a low price, we've gotten probably like four of our teammates to get these Q Tech Avid Qs. Really high quality for the price. Yeah, and the, the wood shaft isn't like a traditional wood shaft. It's kind of, it's like glass bonded maple. So it's like super smooth, kind of like carbon fiber. Wow, look at the eight ball. Dang, that was traveling. That popped right out. This almost went to that side uh -huh. pocket. It's exactly where you want it to go yeah. on that break. Man, if she starts putting eight balls in on the break... Watch out. She's going to be tough. Yeah. Even more tough.
a tough shot right here. Very tough shot. I hate these. And he wow. sinks it. Nice shot. Leave himself a nice leave on the four. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to go forward a little bit here to try to leave a little angle to go forward into that uh, 14 to 14 break out the, the two. Ten. Yeah, exactly. You want to get you want to get below the shot line. So you got a little too straight here for that breakout, I think. You know what? I'm, I'm wondering if that two goes in this bottom right corner. He, just, could. he could follow. Follow with left. Can keep all come back up table for the two. Oh, no. That's surprising. He won't miss that too often. He's looking at, he had the one down the rail. Well, from this angle, it's tough to see what she has. Oh. Holy cow. Wow. What a good shot. Really good leave, too. I get excited whenever I see her. As soon as she hits that ball, I'm like, I've seen her make those shots so many times. Like, no clue what she's going for, but good chance it can go in. Right. <laughs> Whatever it is. Well, she's got some options now. So if we're running this out. I like getting, you know, she's got one ball tied up with the two. It looks like his one, three are an issue for him. So for me, that's giving me a little bit. Wow. Oh, what a Holy cut. Holy cow. I mean, I thought that was definitely a shot into the side pocket, but. Mm -hmm. She drilled that. That was nice. Does she have an angle right here to run into the 12 2? If she hits the 10 in? Yeah, I think she could. Might take a little bit of backspin. Oh. That's going to end up. Looks like he might be able to see the 6. Yeah. But I don't know if those. Part of me is going off of what I'm seeing, and part of me is going off of memory. It kind of looks like that uh, one seven is a dead combo. Oh, that's one seven. God dang it. The red one. <laughs> the red one, yeah. <laughs> they, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think they, it goes. I don't think the seven goes, if I remember correctly. The combo? Yeah. I don't know. From here, it looks like it's wired. Yeah. For some reason, I remember feeling like it didn't go. No wow, way. What a cut. Holy cut. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuck. Fist pump from Keith. That was really sick. Well deserved. Alright, I like that. Just open it up. Just not whacking it and just hoping things <clears throat> go in good places. Just kind of hit it soft and put them in good places. Yeah, you know, I don't... From that from that first day I met him and we played, I don't remember him hitting things soft like that. So I think... That's something he's developed? I think, think so. so? From, I think he's he's learning. You want to you want to run balls and, and win games on these seven-foot diamond tables. you got to... Gotta have some touch and control. And he's showing a lot of control for yeah. sure. Wow. What a shot. So I I'm taking if it's me, I'm taking that stripe and that's sitting in the corner. I'm using it to get closer to these balls. Yeah. But I think she likes she does like to try to keep a pocket blocked. Looks like he might be able to see the one. Uh -huh. But this is an important shot. I mean, this shot dictates how you get on this on the eight. 
you gotta get you gotta figure out how you're gonna hit the seven to get on the eight right now and put the cue ball mm-hmm. where you need it. I like that. It's pretty good. He can he has options here. You can just go forward. You can go forward, you can just do middle ball stun across. Or a little low. Yeah, I think I'm going forward here to try to shoot that eight in the bottom right corner so I don't have to shoot it past the side pocket. Well, so you, you go forward pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't like this shot. I don't like this shot either. I mean, it depends on where it is on the rail, though. If it's frozen to the rail, I'm trying to get above it. How do you hit these shots typically? You just go top, and you do a little bit of left to... I, I go like a half a tip of left. Yeah, I know the left can put some right spin on the eight ball, make sure it hugs the yeah. rail all the way down. And I just try to hit it with like a medium firm speed. I feel like whenever I try to hit those soft, they drift away from the rail. Yeah, a lot of, any, a lot of times when you just hit middle ball too, it'll make that yeah. object ball pop off the rail for some reason. So, But that was a great shot. Yeah, he hit, he however hit he hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll ask him. Yeah. It's really good. He's on the hill. like he's going head ball he goes he goes right at the intersection from the first diamonds oh man he crushed crushed the break cue ball flew off the table <clears throat> now when you scratch on the break in the apa you've got the cue ball on the kitchen in the kitchen gotta cook it up from the kitchen one of my least favorite rules yeah. in APA. I also don't like that you have to take what you make on the break. Take what you make on the break. Scratch on the break goes in the kitchen. Both have, you know, prevented me from getting easy runouts. Right. Both those rules. What a shot. I did not know if that Yeah, went. that was she just hit it right in the center of the pocket. Holy crap. Yeah, she's she, she's she gets in these modes. So good, yeah. Where she just starts she goes, whoop, she's check the line, get down. Tap that in. Boom. Perfect. Cut the fourteen in. What's what's in here in this group? She's got just the, the fifteen. 15 ball. Yeah. That's insane to me. That's just one stripe in that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What? My God! Stop! 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 Okay, it's about as good as you can get on that yeah, ball. Really, really, really do kind of just want to tap it out and leave the cue ball in that mess. Yeah, right. If you can, just try to get the he's checking to, see to the rail. If he wants to get a watch or not, he said it's probably fine. I think they hit the five ball first. You think so? It looked kind of like it did. I don't know. I don't know either. I think it was just, I think the 15 was just um, in front of the 5, so it kind of sent it that way. Yeah. Well, it's a tough run out here. Huh. That's not an easy shot no, for Shelby right it's there. Not. Shooting over the 5 ball. Steep cut. Steep cut. But if she makes it, she might be looking at a... She's got to go for a safe, which is pretty good. She keeps leaving the cue ball down here at the short rail, and he's going to have some tough shots. Mm-hmm. But 
her ball isn't open up too much right now. 15's pretty much got one pocket down there. Yeah. Nice little draw stroke. Yes. <clears throat> Now you got to think about your order. So if this is the easiest, probably the best, that was probably the best spot to get to the six. But you might be a little worried about freeing up that pocket. I for think I would have. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I probably would have taken the six right there first. I would have as well. Uh, came out pretty good there. Let's see if he can see enough of the six as here. long as he's not straight in you know i was like more worried about 15 maybe being in the way a little uh, bit to see. Might be. i think he can see it though i think so too you're a little bit more used to this camera angle than i yeah. am i'm not sure what he's looking at though so i think he's trying to figure out what, where he can get the cue ball I think he might be straight in. If he's straight in, yeah, it's going to be tough to do anything with the Q. Okay. Yeah, if he would have made that, the cue ball is going out into the open there. Yeah, so something tells me he might have missed it intentionally I'm not sure we'll see right here this 15 might just go straight into the pocket I think it does go by the 8 into the corner look at wow. that shot oh my god perfectly struck good speed good perfect English perfect shape on the 8 good English on the cue ball that was so good I wish I could do that <laughs> I have, in fact, seen you do that many times. Yeah. It doesn't feel like I can lately, but we'll get back there. Practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Man, that was a great out. Great out from Shelby. Then we're tied Hill Hill. That was really good. I wonder if Keith will remember. I'll have him when he when he gets to watch this. If I remember, if he if he was playing safe on that, uh -huh. what he was going for. I think he was trying to make it, and he just mishit it a little bit. I don't know. There also could have been my theory that he couldn't see the whole yeah. six enough of it to get into the corner, and he hit all he could see. Yeah. Because he he came down here and he had his cue laying across the short rail. Right. right. Like he was looking at where the six would pop back up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. She's going for that second ball break, trying to get that eight ball out, which we love to see. Yeah. It's a good break on the seven footers. Definitely the best break you can try. Yeah. I mean, Especially with these mismatched set, set of balls where everything's different size. If you try to, I mean, the, the advantage of, going for the head ball is to get a good spread but i mean are you even going to get a good spread like because right the, you can't rack the balls tight there's so no guarantee like, yeah so you might as well go for the eight yeah i do it every rack now i was doing the head ball break for a bit i do the head ball break in practice if i'm being honest i do the head ball break if i already have an eight on the break hmm. <laughs> Gotcha. Because then I'm going for my break and run. Yeah. So I can get in the yeah. mini slam patch. Yeah. So sometimes I get lucky and I get the eight on the break on the first rack. And then the <laughs> next four racks, I'm trying to, the next four breaks, I'm, I'm trying to get a good spread oh, so yeah. I can get a break and yeah. run. All right. Kind of got a little weird here. Yeah, you might have to shoot back to the seven. 
but yeah, if that's straight in on the one, then that's something we'd usually call a watch for, probably. You wouldn't carry him the three off the 15 into the top left corner? <laughs> I would want to. <laughs> But, a, you know, a big part of my, uh, I guess, success as I've, like, leveled up an APA is just stopping myself from doing all these crazy shots oh, that right. I try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep those for practice. I also stopped drinking, like, three IPAs before I played mm, my match. Yeah, that'll help. Usually helps with my decision making when yeah. I don't do that. Yeah. Good shot, but not a leave here. Yeah, not a good outcome. She's probably kicking it. She's got three balls, right? By yeah. the eight ball, yeah. so. Oh. Oh. Let's hit the six. A little hard. This looks like she kind of punched at it a little mm -hmm. bit there. It looked kind of like the angle was good when she was down on the shot. Right, but yeah, I thought so, too. Sometimes when you just do... Hit it too hard, it'll straighten up. Yeah, if you do a little punch and you hit it too hard, it's going to... It straightens out a lot on these tables, so just a nice, easy stroke on that, then she's might probably making contact. But she did open up those three balls down there. Well, that was a pretty productive shot there from Keith. Absolutely. All of a sudden, he's got the makings of a run out. Only problem is that... I don't know if the six six probably goes to the top right corner, so it might not be a problem, but he might take it now. The eight ball's also a problem. Looks like. Hmm, yeah, it is. I'm thinking maybe you go seven in the side, three in the top left, follow the six, and try to shoot the eight in this bottom side. Kind of like. Yeah, follow. Boop, boop, so you follow boop. the six. Maybe like try to run the cue ball into the ten or something. Yeah. Let's see what he's got planned. Yeah, he likes that six on the side. Not left with something really great at all here. No. He left himself with a cut on the seven. It's unlikely to leave him a shot on the three. Wow. He might yeah. have a window here. Yeah. There was also a chance of opening up that pocket for the yeah. eight, but it didn't quite work out. Well, that was close. Rattled it. He could have been looking at a little bank. Mm -hmm. Eight ball bank right there. <clears throat> Shelby's got some work to do here. Yep. Definitely like taking this one to the side. Hopefully yep. running into that ball on that side. Yep. Just like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably hitting that 14. Uh, she thinks she goes for the inside one, but I like the outside ball a bit better. If you take that 14 instead, the cue ball comes back out to the middle of the table. Uh -huh. You have more options here. Wow. Really good shot. Yeah, that Super was... good cut. Such a really nice angle here to come up table for the uh, 14 in the top right. Yep, she hits oh, the 12, I mean, the purple one. Is that, <sighs> what was it, did I say? No. Yeah, that's the 12 for sure. Purple. Purple one. The Barney ball. The Barney ball. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That was close. She had a little bit of side spin, I think, on it too to... Make it come over and hit that ball mm -hmm. on the side rail. Sometimes that can lead to to missing the shot. So if I'm Keith, I'm probably just playing this soft and taking the long eight ball. Just rolling forward off the rail. There you go. Don't get too fancy. Yeah. No need. I think I'd like to be just maybe an inch or two off more off the rail, but that would be ideal. No one likes shooting off the rail. No. He seems to have a pretty comfortable bridge on the mm -hmm. rail there. Not his first rodeo. Any All right. Hit. Well, that was a good match. Good match. 
could shoot in Shelby and Keith. She'll get them next time. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Catch you next time.